Hello everyone, and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's news desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I'll be reviewing the film After Yang, a movie that screened at the 2022 Sundance Film Festival. After Yang is directed by Kogo Nada, written by Kogo Nada, and stars Colin Farrell, Jodie Turner-Smith, Malaya Emma Tranjurijuda, Justin H. Min, and Haley Lou Richardson. This is an After Yang movie review and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this After Yang film review as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. When the very talented filmmaker Kogonada made the 2017 masterpiece Columbus, he was instantly crowned a filmmaking genius by the indie movie crowd. His new film after Yang is an okay film but also lacks much of the competence of his earlier picture. This new picture certainly has a unique storyline, but the execution remains lacking in terms of the script and direction. Still, visually speaking, After Yang has many pluses and the emotions towards the end of the movie are well conveyed by the actors in the film, even if the movie feels as if it has at least 25 minutes yet to come when the credits roll. That's the main problem with Koganada's latest picture. In Columbus, a movie driven by character interaction, the director never sold his audience short. Here, it's like the premise is our reward and our expectations that it will go somewhere exceptional are never met. Set sometime in the future, Colin Farrell stars as a family man who owns a tea store named Jake who is married to Kyra, Jodie Turner-Smith. The couple have an adopted Chinese daughter, Mika, played by the absolutely terrific young actress Malaya Amala Chandra Ridridger, and an AI brother named Yang, Justin H. Min. This new picture opens splendidly, with an online dance competition that the family is participating in as the credits are displayed to the audience. At this point, I thought that Kogo Nada will probably outdo himself with this new picture because the opening is so creative and unique. Unfortunately, the film fails to live up to the promise set by the beginning. Yang short circuits, and since he's become like a member of the family, Jake sets out on a mission to find a way to bring Yang back. As the plot progresses, he looks to see where Mika's brother was purchased. It could seemingly be a place called Brothers and Sisters because the AI model was actually refurbished. Soon it becomes clear that selected memories of Yang can be obtained, and it seems that Yang loved his family. There are also memories of a girl-slash-barista named Ada, Haley Lou Richardson of Columbus, who is given precious little to do here, which leads Jake to want to learn more about Yang and his past. Yang is officially known as a techno-sapien. As Jake tries to fix him, the audience anticipates that the film will take us places that are going to be emotionally moving. However, the film stays grounded for the most part and lets the images speak for themselves, and some of them don't really progress the plot forward. There are also conversations about fixing Yang, spyware, and the cost of possibly bringing Yang back, but the best the movie can ultimately muster up is making Yang's memories so precious that they must be held in an AI museum. Maybe I'm being too hard on after Yang. That's because I have seen Columbus and know what the director Koganada is capable of. His previous film was so full of depth and the images were combined beautifully with the characterizations. Farrell is just going through the motions here, but his daughter, Chandra Widjaja, is so good that we truly feel for her and want to see Yang come back in order to make her happy. Mika has developed such an attachment to Yang that she is yearning for him to return to her family and has a hard time imagining her family without him. Although Mika is only seen briefly with Yang, her attachment to him is affecting. Also in the supporting cast is Sarita Chowdhury, as the museum worker who suggests that Yang's memories be made available to everyone who is interested in learning about them. Chowdhury has a short role in the movie, but she nevertheless does a fairly good job. Richardson is so underused, however, though the little screen time she has is effective, despite the fact that it comes really late in the picture. As Jake's wife, Turner Smith, 
has some strong scenes opposite Farrell that help give the movie depth, but not enough to make it work as well as it would like to. The premise of After Yang is truly inspired. The film needed more substance, even though a director like Steven Spielberg got away with his own shortcomings in the much better Hollywood film, AI Artificial Intelligence. In After Yang, I truly enjoyed the idea the film proposed, but it gets bogged down in scenes that don't propel the movie to a compelling conclusion. That said, if you go in with lower expectations, the movie does provide some thought-provoking sequences and a few emotional scenes. There are directors whose work I will watch no matter what they do. Sofia Coppola is one of them. Koganada is without a doubt another one. After Yang is an exercise in style over substance, but is certainly not a bad film by any means. It's thought-provoking and has some real meat on its thematic bones. But at the end of the film, viewers may want a bit more. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you have a cast and director of this caliber, viewers have come to expect greatness. This film is merely okay. And that brings us to the conclusion of this After Yang movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comment section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.